nuclear fission material get rid free energy no it's it's not today we're going to be looking at another one of electro booms videos specifically can you microwave yourself well yeah but why for those of you who don't know me i'm tyler fulce i'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry from engineering operations to emergency response I claim to know everything there is nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. Let's find out. Hi, boomers. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, boomers, if you have questions with quality, post it on our subreddit, no matter your entity. I may or may not check it in the next episode of Latity. Wow, that was, uh, that was something. <laughs> Different definition of OK Boomer. All right. OK, let's see what you guys have to offer. This guy busted a lot of misconceptions about microwave radiation, but still don't attempt any of this as it should be obvious. Yes, and microwave radiation misconceptions get lumped in with misconceptions about radiation in general. A lot of people seem to think microwave radiation is the same thing as ionizing radiation that you see from, say, nuclear power plants, gamma rays, x-rays. It's not. It's at the other end of the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, it's just turned on. Uh, once again, I feel absolutely nothing. Is he sitting right in front of a magnetron of a microwave oven? My brain's not crying. Oh, whoopee! <laughs> I've got this light bulb, and I'm gonna make it light up in my mouth. I wasn't joking. So the Mr. Green guy is basically exposing himself to microwave oven radiations. Hey, this is silly. Um, so standard microwave oven 2.4, 2.5 gigahertz. That translates to on the order of magnitude of about 10 millimeters or one centimeter ish. A lot of it's frequency dependent though. Lower frequencies are going to penetrate deeper for microwave radiation. And as far as safety, the federal limit set by the FDA is five milliwatts per square centimeter at a distance of two inches from the source being the microwave. Talking about actual leakage. Who out the video and survives? Because that would it is good to find fellow crazy people on YouTube. <laughs> Should I try that? I mean, as I mentioned in my old video, the sunlight radiation is so strong, it can easily warm you up in a second. The microwave... <laughs> I mean, yeah. And here we're just talking about the effects of nuclear fusion at very long range, but it can warm you up. I mean, <laughs> that's a good thing, right? <laughs> Uh, I never get tired of electro boom. Oven, on the other hand, has over 300,000 times lower frequency, so its single photon has that much less energy. So it's not ionizing or cancerous at all, but too many photons can still burn you. Eh. So it's a completely different mechanism. It's a completely different mechanism from ionizing radiation. Ionizing, we're talking about the energy being so high, it's moving electrons from the outermost shells of atoms, ionizing. And the effects of ionizing radiation on the body in extreme doses can lead to acute radiation poisoning, nausea, vomiting, headache, weakness, and horrific internal bleeding. And it can get really nasty, but that's at extreme, extreme doses, say the, uh, the first responders during the Chernobyl accident, for instance. Microwave radiation, though, affects the body in a completely different way. It's all thermal effects. We're not messing with DNA from acute poisoning or um, increasing the risk of cancer over time, like Electroboom said. Talking about burns, overheating, um, and it's mainly just because humans contain a lot of water. And the range of a microwave oven is going to be into skin and, mu and muscle tissue, just depending on the, the frequency of the microwave. So mainly skin and muscle tissue. Now, the amount of energy transmitted, so when I say a centimeter, it's not evenly distributed f through the full centimeter. It's a lot of it is through the first couple of millimeters and then it gradually tapers off because it's still 
a form of shielding. And that's actually a parallel to ionizing radiation in that it gets attenuated as it passes through some layers of shielding. That's about the only real similarity. But yeah, burns, thermal effects, mostly superficial is what's going to come from microwaves. It should be safe. I mean, military made an active denial system that would radiate crowds of people, burning them remotely so they would disperse. Although, I don't know if I can put military and safety in the same sentence. I was gonna say, that's, real, that's the example you're going with. <laughs> well, it could be used as a weapon, so it's safe. A non-lethal weapon, but... <laughs> So, as long as it doesn't burn me, I guess I can try it. But you don't try it at all. The setup itself is so dangerous and can easily electrocute you in a jiffy if you make a mistake. That's, I mean, that's the real hazard. It's people playing around with the magnetrons and stuff. That's going to be the higher risk operation here. I know Styropyro mentions this risk in a lot of his videos too, that you have to know what you're doing. And I know a lot Electro Boom knows what he's doing. He does a lot of um in fact he knows what he's doing really well that he does a lot of like comical shocks, but to the point where none of it is serious and he obviously knows this. If he didn't he wouldn't still be making videos. I'm worried about running it in my room though. What if the energy coming out of it goes into my electronics <laughs> and the arc and burn? So, I am in our bedroom with the guts of the bedroom. microwave oven transformer assembled together there. And let's power- I like to believe he just had all that stuff lying around in his bedroom. Put it on. Okay. Nothing blew up. It's glowing. Oh wow. Wow, the emissions really affected the audio quality there. <laughs> That's now, cool. I have a CFL bulb. Let's turn this on and see if I can make it glow. Oh, this is cool. Oh, look at that. Wow, the radiations really make this glow. I mean, you're exciting the filament within the bulb. I mean, you're exciting electrons in the phosphor coating of this thing. I guess you're sort of partially turning it on. <laughs> I mean, the output's weaker, as you can see. <laughs> Radiations confirmed. Here's a CD. Let's give this a try. CD. Affecting the CD. A lot of kids don't know what this is. Something is happening. I see some stuff. He's burning a Smoke CD. Damn it. Some minor arcing. Okay. Something definitely happened to the CD. It's not as bad as if I put the CD in an actual microwave oven. That's kind of a Let's cool put some aluminum effect, foil though. on top of it. What? What happened? Little sparks. Yep. So can I put oh, my hand in audio. front of it? Let's power it up and try. Crawl forward under the radar. Ugh. I'll use the lamp in my hand. The radiation. Will I might feel a little bit of heat there. <laughs> Oh, partially on. I feel the heat. Yeah. Okay, I turned it off. It radiates heat. Was the heat coming from this thing getting hot? Just hot air rising or the radiations? Ah, the body of the magnetron is much hotter than the radiations coming out of it. Let's try it again. Hey, yes, I got burned. <laughs> I'm so excited oh, no. about it. <laughs> yes. Oh my. <laughs> I felt some minor radiation. Now probably the most sensitive area to the body for this would be your eyes. So hopefully he doesn't put his face right on top of the thing. Because there's just no skin to protect it. So a centimeter is a lot. Now he didn't say what frequency we're talking about this, but I'm assuming a standard 2.4 gigahertz. Yeah, a centimeter going in your eyes a lot. And the eye tissue might even be slightly different it could be of slightly more slightly less just because it's different sort of tissue than the skin i know with ionizing radiation there are dose requirements for the lens of the eye that are different from the rest of the whole body and the dose limit is lower for a radiation worker just because it's an extra sensitive area and really this is another similarity to ionizing radiation it's just it's a form of light so um, time, distance, and shielding rules do apply. Um, you 
Double your distance from the source. Um, intensity drops by a factor of four. Obviously, the longer you stay near the source, the more effective dose or heating that you would that you would experience. And shielding. I mean, that's another reason why your hand the effects aren't as bad as your eye because that skin is actually a little bit of shielding. Can burn inside my soul. <laughs> <laughs> well, mind you, the magnetron is not installed in a proper waveguide inside a microwave oven, which would make it radiate much more efficiently. And also, yeah. the cavity inside the microwave oven reflects the waves back and forth, so they get to accumulate and heat the food much better. And that's why... It's the same reason why it spins. Because <laughs> it, <'cause> it pulses. <laughs> outside the oven the here, it doesn't seem to be powerful enough. Don't try this! But hey, it's definitely radiating! <laughs> Another yeah. bulb. I still feel cooked to some extent. Don't radiate yourself. Not just the capacitor. Hmm. Shopping a capacitor no into no the outlet? Good. 220 volts? Oh. Creates an arc to turn on his oven. I mean, that's obviously way more dangerous than just using a lighter. Dangerous shoving wires straight into 220 volts and having the loose wires of the capacitor in your hands that can be charged as high as 330 yeah. volts. Well, he's connecting to AC, so it could be charged anywhere between 0 to 330. Still dangerous. <laughs> just do it like other people do, charging themselves up with oh, static, static and discharging to the oven. <laughs> Or do it like I do. Instead That's of hilarious. dangerous high voltages, I use low voltage on a super large capacitor. This thing right now is charged to 18 volts, but can still deliver. It is quite promising. You just <laughs> <laughs> yes, do what I do. That is much safer. That produces a lot of sparkies. Charge it again with my power supply. I'm going to use my barbecue. We oh, just we turn it on. And I suppose we can short the capacitor somewhere on the burner here. <laughs> oh, Why? my hair burned. Okay, forget the microwave thing. Yeah, he just wants to cause some, <laughs> some fire shenanigans. Remember, <laughs> warning. Remember, kids, electricity will kill you. <laughs> because I... Wow, that's, that's not the right message. It should just be... If you don't know what you're doing, then yeah, there could be severe consequences. But yeah, it could be with electricity, could be with radiation, could be cars for that matter. As we all know, it grabs you by the shoulders, then takes its switch knife out and boom! Unlike poison that will run you over. Are the battery <laughs> terminals made of lead? Who would have guessed they used lead in a lead acid battery? What next, you're yeah, gonna really? tell me they actually use acid in those? New free energy device? Nuclear fissile material get re- Oh here, <laughs> get really Free energy? No, it's, it's not. It's not free energy. We're talking fissiles, so the energy is coming from fission. Really hot. Put nuclear fissile material in water. Use steam to turn this the is, generator. I love it. This is the simple explanation of how a nuclear power plant works. Free electricity? Oh, I, w oh, I wish. <laughs> nah, you gotta maintain all of that stuff you drew there and... <laughs> Said fissile material isn't exactly isn't exactly cheap. It's super dense though, and is cheaper and more sustainable in the long run than some of its alternatives. But nah, there's no such thing as free electricity. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Isn't that how nuclear power actually works? Basically, that's not free energy anyway. It converts nuclear energy into electricity. How to get free energy at? <laughs> that's awesome. Hmm home neighbor's house neighbor's outlet plug long extension cord turn off your power plug death cable into outlet and extension cord same logic as the free energy from your nuclear plant you're just getting it from somewhere else <laughs> i like these free energy yay is this joke ever gonna die yes i get it you can get free energy from your neighbor the breaker destroyer 8000 the neighbor is your uh, nuclear is the nuclear power plant. That's how they're related. Wow, what is this? Is this something they actually sell? 
Well, this is still a ton of outlets to be oh, plugged made into one. one. Well, technically it has a breaker, so you can't overload it. And this one is probably photoshopped, so I don't think yeah. anyone makes it like that. But I can never tell. No, and you wouldn't just have the... If you did make something like that, it wouldn't just have the one breaker. <laughs> There are so many stupid products out there. Average suicide shower experience. What do you got shoot Oh, oh. <laughs> Isn't that obvious? For like 5,000 watts that these devices need, they're using such thin wires. And naturally, that happens. <laughs> you know, I showed it in my previous video. These suicide showers could be used safely if you wire them right on the right the breaker hell? and everything. But still, I don't feel comfortable no. around them. I've heard Brazil. <laughs> is the place to try them. I should really go there. 500 kilovolt to 750 kilovolt? Notice, bikers may experience a sensation from static electricity as you pass under the power line. Electric field is within state limits. I've never seen this sign before. Static electricity? Perhaps high voltage DC power lines? <laughs> high voltage DC power lines. <laughs> Wow. I'd like to be on that bridge and do some experiments. I wonder if I can find its location. There it is, guys. That's the bridge. Can one of you go there at <laughs> night, stand right under the cables and hold on to the bridge railing and with the other hand point all the way to the cables? I'm pretty sure it's designed with proper clearances so no lightning will jump at your finger. I just want to know if at night you can see any corona discharge coming out of your finger. Should it work? Work? I laughed way too hard at this one. I'm going to hell now for sure. <laughs> How to jumpstart a millennial? <laughs> well, this won't shock them. It will just short the battery. It would shock them if it was like two different piercings. <laughs> if you found a person like that, try this. <laughs> no, no. Looks legit, right? A young college student in Gaza creates a power source to charge many devices. 26%. Wow, he's creating his own power bar. <laughs> Now that's a power bar. Remember kids, <laughs> electricity will kill you. Kids casually playing with a train high voltage pantograph. What are they doing up there? Oh no, no, no. Just Dude. Gonna... Oh my God. What are these kids are idiots. These are the type of kids that their parents should go to jail. Uh, I'm a, uh, I don't know where to start with all the safety violations, even just standing on top of a moving train and no PPE, no nothing. Just, I, do I even need to say anything at that point? Nice stash of submissions. Keep submitting your stuff in the subreddit. This was a nice stash of submissions. I really enjoyed just the microwave as well as the compilation of memes. That was, that, that was pretty funny. Thanks so much for the recommendation and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.